All right, so if you saw the video out on the channel about this web eater stuff that I did, I don't know, it was a few months ago, about here in Tennessee, it worked pretty good on the small spiders, but didn't do so good on the big old tough Tennessee spiders. Well, the folks at Web Eater also saw the video and they contacted me and wanted to know if I would try again because they sent me a couple more bottles and there's something different about the two bottles. They didn't really identify it because they didn't want to tell me and I don't really want to know. I just want to see if it's going to work better on these tough old Tennessee spiders. So we'll go up and look at the wall again. It's been probably two or three months now and we'll see that the spiders have come back and they've made a big old mess. All right, so here we are again in the spider's favorite corner. Actually, the whole front porch is where the spiders love to be. And as you can see, they have made a mess again. There's webs all over the place. And the spiders come out at night and they start making their webs. Well, one of the reasons why they do that is because we leave the lights on on the front porch. So that attracts the bugs, which attracts the spiders, which makes spider webs. So even up here, you can see the spiders have actually covered up the recessed lighting right there with their web so we're going to get to see if all that will wash away it'll be easy to tell all right so let's get set up here and figure out how to wash some webs away all right so here's our little bottles and we're going to go through the instructions and then put the stuff on again but you'll notice over here there's another bottle well this is from a different company this is wet and forget smith muffet spider revenge it's a spider killer so you may be thinking, okay, why wouldn't you spray the spider killer on, kill all the spiders, and then take their webs away? Well, this stuff over here has to be put on and then let dry, and then it's supposed to get rid of the spiders for like 12 months. So I actually have to put this on after I get rid of their webs. So I'll come in first, and I'll get rid of all their webs, and then I'll kill them with the spider killer. So let's look at this web eater stuff right here. Oh, and we'll make a separate video for that. In case you're wondering how well that stuff works on killing some spiders. So for the web eater, what you got to do is hook it up to the hose end. And it's real easy. I've already done it once here. And then you spray it all on, uh, whatever, all over the webs. And then you let it sit for about 15 minutes. And then you hose it away with like a high pressure end. Not a pressure washer, so to speak. But just the hose end that squirts some pretty good pressure. So we'll get set up, put the camera down, and we will squirt. And like I say... I'm going to do half of the house with one bottle and half of the other. Then we're going to compare the results on these two and let the folks at Web Eater know how well this worked. All right, so we are all set up, and I'm going to spray this side of the house with the first bottle, and then I'm going to stop at the door, and I'm going to spray this side with the other one, and let's just compare these two and see how they do. and then we're gonna hose it off and see how it does so each bottle took about a half a bottle for each side a little more on this side but you could easily do the whole front with one bottle so we'll find out here in just a little bit uh, once we give it about 15 minutes to work all right so just an update while this stuff is soaking on the wall but as you can see the spiders do not like it at all they're coming out and they're like what the heck is going on and what did you spray on me so you can see the size of some of these spiders, pretty good size, freaking little spiders. So we're going to see, because I think these are the guys, like that big one right there, where'd he go? And then jump, there he is. Like that big guy right there? Yeah, I think he's the one that makes these big old thick webs, but he's looking pretty sick right now. So, But you can see all my little buddies, they didn't like that stuff at all. So hopefully they're going to go away. All right, so it's been about 15, 20 minutes or so, so we're ready to try to wash this off, but I zoomed in, I'll zoom right in on that light right there because that's where a bunch of them are, and then also on the wall, you can see this wall right here, there's a bunch of them. So we'll zoom in on that and wash that off real quick, and then I'll back the camera up and we'll wash the rest of it. So let's see if this dissolver dissolves those webs.
All right, so as you can see, let me zoom in real close to the to the light fixture. As you can see, it dissolved quite a bit of the web. It kind of lost its stickiness and so it would wash away, but it didn't quite get it off. So what I'm gonna do is come back in here on this one and I'm gonna do a second application before I wash off the other and then I'll move the camera over there so we can see how well that other bottle worked. We'll let that sit for 15 minutes while we squirt off the other bottle and see how well it did. All right, so on to the second bottle to see, and I'm zoomed in on that other light. This is a different light here, so we can see how it does. It's not as dirty as the other one, but this corner is just super nasty. So now let's spray this off and see how it did. So as we can see, it still is not dissolving those webs like I expected. It does do some, but I'm telling you, we got some tough spiders here in Tennessee because it dissolves it enough that it'll like separate a little bit, but it just won't wash it off the wall. All right, so let's see if a second dose got rid of the rest of that. Well, it looks like a second application didn't do any different, although it did take a lot of the web away. It didn't really do anything to put it on there twice. So we are going to have to whoop out the pressure washer. Now, hopefully we'll get it off there with the pressure washer, because even with the pressure washer, normally you can't get these webs off. They're just so thick. So let's see now that we put this web eater on there, did it loosen up enough that the pressure washer will wash them away. So we're gonna give this a wash with the pressure washer and see if not, we're gonna have to do the old broom thing like we've always done, because even the pressure washer wouldn't get them off. So let me get the pressure washer set up. All right, so on to bottle number two with the pressure washer, because it seems like the web eater stuff needs a little bit of help. Now, normally I can't get this stuff to come off at all. As you can see up in that corner, I've already started. I'm gonna wash that light now just to see but that second bottle actually got rid of a bunch of the webs. I'll see if I can snap a pick of this before and then after so you can see the difference of it with the pressure washer. Now with just the hose with a squirter on it, doesn't seem to work too good, but with the pressure washer, it actually has broken it up enough that I can knock it off with a pressure washer, which I couldn't do before. So let's try it around this light right here and see if we can knock it all away. So just to follow up with bottle number two there, as you can see with the help of a pressure washer, and like I say, normally a pressure washer won't even wash these spiders down from Tennessee here, but it actually worked pretty good. And what it allowed you to do was kind of break it free on one side and then start walking the web off of the siding. And so it even worked up in the ceiling really well too. You can see it took it all away. I just had to walk it little by little across and the ceiling's kind of tough because you can't really get to it good but it actually did pretty good for that second bottle so maybe they're on to something with that one and we'll be able to get some more of that and give it a try again but there you go looks like that tested out pretty good well alrighty. well thanks for watching